Stewart here with Mud Run Guide. I am with Evan Dollard, and Evan, well, you hardly need an introduction. You've been around the American Ninja Warrior world forever. You've been uh, at the finish line of OCR World Championships. You've done yes. obstacle races. You've been a commentator on Spartan Ultimate Challenge Season 1, and now you we're talking about Wolfpack Ninjas and the Wolfpack Ninja Tour that's coming up that you are going to be emceeing at. Correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, for not needing an, an introduction, you really nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need an introduction, but here's all these things. No, thank you. That was very kind. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you've been in the ninja world forever. I mean, it seems like you've been in it for a number of years now. And um, tell me how you guys got, kind of got hooked up with the Wolfpack Ninja crew and, and the event yeah. that's coming up. I mean, American Ninja Warrior, I started season two, right? And it was, it was, there weren't a lot of people that had heard about it at that point. I found out about it because of a, a coworker of mine who knew that I had done American Gladiators and he said, you should try this next. So fast forward, we're now in season nine. They're filming season nine right now. Yeah. And instead of a couple hundred people applying every season, there's tens of thousands. Like the last number I heard was pretty ridiculous. Like it was upwards of 60,000 people, 80, 70,000 people just applying to be on American Ninja Warrior. And while the show is incredible, it's so much fun, like that is something that a lot of people strive to be a part of, it's hard, it's competitive to even get on the show in the first place. So one of the things that the Wolfpack Ninjas uh, have been trying to do is create an opportunity for everybody to compete in something. You know, where rather than just saying, hopefully I get you know picked for out of these 80,000 people to be on the show, you can actually sign up and come compete and run an American Ninja Warrior-esque course in Denver. And not only run it, and but actually compete against some of the best ninjas in the country, in the world, on a course that, that you've been training for all year round. So hopefully you make it on American Ninja Warrior. But if you don't, come to Denver and give it a shot. Yeah, and I mean, what's neat is that obviously you've been – in the American Ninja Warrior world, as you just said, like from the beginning, and you've seen like the evolution of the whole, uh, you know, the the whole rise of it and everything. So, I mean, who, I mean, you know who a lot of the people are that are going to be at the Wolfpack Ninja Tour, but what is it like, do you think, to have like an average Joe be able to go with like Jesse Graff or like, you know, any of the Wolfpack guys and all that sort of stuff? Like to you, like what's, cool about that seeing that together um i mean i think one of the things that we talk about is this idea of a dark horse right somebody coming out of the shadows and who's actually been training in their backyard course for years but it just because it's so competitive to get on the actual show hasn't had the opportunity to showcase their skills yet and i think honestly i think you'll see a lot of that because you have your staples jesse graff is obviously phenomenal drew dreschel's very very good at what he does. You have all these athletes, um, Jesse LaFlair, mm -hmm. who not only is a phenomenal ninja athlete, but a professional free runner who has, you know, competed all across the world doing that. And yes, they're very good. They're very fast, they're very skilled. But now we're going to see all these people that have been doing their training coming out of the woodwork and competing against the best of the best. And also hopefully some people that just have been up until this point, potentially sitting on the couch, cheering these ninjas on. They have a fan favorite. And in the back of their mind, they just kind of watch and think, yeah, I think I could do that. I bet I could take them. And they're going to find out. So I think you're going to have people that are going to knock it out of the park. And I think people are going to find out that it's, they may need to up their training a little bit. Speaking of training, too, since, I mean, you've seen a lot of these different obstacles. And we've all kind of seen them on TV. But what is your, like, one or two tips for somebody that is looking to try or is going to take on like the Wolfpack Ninja Tour coming up here. What is like one or two things that all of us could be doing at home to maybe try to give ourselves more of an advantage? <laughs> oh, one or two things. <laughs> um, let me think. Well, the, the Wolfpack Ninja course is a speed course. So it's closer to Team Ninja Warrior than you know, stage three in American Ninja Warrior. So my one tip for an American Ninja Warrior stage three preparation would be rock climbing, right? Because it's all suspended obstacles and grip strength, where this is more speed. So you want to focus equally on your upper body strength and grip strength as much as your lower body explosiveness. 
So one of the things that I recommend for that is sprints and plyometrics. I'm I'm constantly trying to make sure that I'm I'm ready with the lower body because something like a Spartan race, right? You you it's you have distance. You've got at least minimum three miles, maximum what 12, 16 <laughs> to make up time or ground. Whereas this, you have to be ready and you have to be explosive. So definitely get your sprints in. Definitely do some plyometrics, some box jumps, do some ladder drills to make sure that your legs are ready to go. Well, excellent. And uh, what are you looking forward to most about the the Wolfpack Ninja Tour coming up? What What's going to be a highlight for you? Do you think going in? Oh my goodness! I mean, I so for me, I <laughs> over the last couple of years, I've enjoyed doing commentary more than competing. Like competing is fun. But I've done it five seasons now. I've had the chance to compete in Japan. I've competed in China. And I competed on Team Ninja Warrior. And I got to, to go out competing against uh, Alan Keneally, the beast, on Team Ninja Warrior. Barely beat him to the buzzer. It was a neck and neck race. And that was kind of like my highlight. Okay, that's a good way to end my ninja career. Um, so when I look forward to doing the commentary, being up next to Noah, not only, again, feeling a sense of closeness and camaraderie for all the ninjas that I've competing with for the last few years. But those, those athletes that are going to come out of the woodwork and the people that are trying this for the first time, they're just going to love it. It's, it's so much fun. It's fast. It's furious. It will test every ounce of your physical prowess. And it's going to be a, a huge event that everyone's going to enjoy being a part of. So I guess I'm looking forward mostly to being there, seeing the actions, seeing people's faces light up, seeing people get challenged and pushed, and seeing those boundaries overcome. I love it. I love it. Well, um, uh, we will be looking forward to seeing uh, any updates you have from the event there and everything else that's going on with the Wolfpack Ninja Tour. So thanks, Evan. Thanks so much for taking the time. This has been awesome. Yeah, of course. Thank you. And definitely check it out. you got to sign up. There's 30000 dollars of prizes given away you have to get out there this is your chance to test your ninja skills make sure you sign up and we'll see you in denver excellent <laughs>